Good morning, Spark Chasers. What's up, everybody? <laughs> it's opening day. <laughs> All right, we're here. We're out in the woods somewhere in Washington. Amazingly enough, there's another vehicle here, though, Washington, too. Washington? Man, you keep saying Washington, Idaho. I, I kept thinking we were in Oregon still. Tom doesn't realize we're in Washington. <laughs> and uh, we keep bouncing back and forth between Oregon, Idaho, and Washington. But uh, who knows where we really are. But we're going out in the woods. Chasing and, uh, Bigfoot. Going to go see if we can find Bigfoot today. Yeah. Um, Wind's howling on the other side of the mountain, so we're ditching out on the on the northeast side. See what's in the woods. From what I've seen lately, the birds aren't hitting those sides quite so much because there just isn't a lot of food yet. Yeah. But uh, we're going in. Looks like we got a partner in the woods, possibly, and we'll see when we get out there. We don't get in front of each other. Or he's sleeping in his car, and uh, he's going to be disappointed when he wakes up that if, he hasn't, if he hasn't already. That could very well be. He might be sleeping in the car. That's all right. All right. Going in the woods. We'll see you out there. See ya. See ya. More to come. All right. Mm. Let's do it. Seems like the sun's coming up a lot slower today than it did a week ago during the youth season. It's not even 5 o'clock yet. Really? Yeah, it's like 4.50. 4.50. <laughs> Nothing's talking but roosters in the distance. Yeah, 4. 4.53. Need to hear a gobble somewhere. Oh. <laughs> Well, we finally found a bird. Got a gobble. Gobble, gobble. Oh, but he horny gobbles. Doesn't... Sounds like a classic, uh... Sounds a little better than an early, early bird. Yeah, no, he sounds okay. Yeah, he sounds pretty decent. There's another one down here. I think he had a little deeper voice. Yeah, I think we were up to about two or three different birds. We're hoping. It's a pretty morning. Finally. Yeah, I mean, the cool thing is, is open morning gobbles. If we don't kill one of these birds, I don't care. This is just fun to be out here. Exactly. Shotgun in hand, listen to the birds. It's just fun to be out here. Yeah, pretty, pretty excited. It's a pretty morning. For a long time. It wasn't a single bird making noise. I mean turkeys, I mean nothing. It was dead silent. Like you couldn't hear a robin, not a tweety bird, nothing. All of a sudden the birds started talking. Everything's like a half hour behind, I'd say, wouldn't you? Yeah, at least. Yeah. But here we are now. Even this turkey, we started making noise to get him to come. Now he's talking. Finally. Best sound in the world right now. Right now. Opening day turkey gobble. I can't. I don't even care about shooting them. It has nothing to do with it. <laughs> I just love being out here yeah. in the early morning. Beautiful view. Can't beat it. If anything, we're going to argue about who's going to be forced to kill the bird. <laughs> you shoot it. I don't think either one of us really want to shoot. Until it's standing there, then I might want to shoot it. Yeah, Tom might change his mind. <laughs> Got the, gotta get the blood on the 28 gauge. Oh, that's right. Check it out. Tom brought his. He's got his 28 with him. I brought my 12. I'm not uh, satisfied with the patterns I'm getting yet. They're a little too wide. I've so got, I gotta work on it still. I've got a verdict. One and a half, number nine. Backed by two, 
the Salt Creeks, nine and ten mixes. So, it's not the ammo, it's, we're just trying to figure out the choke, the ammo, and the gun combination still. We just haven't had a lot of time to do it. But we know anything inside 40 yards is a dead bird, but we're being picky about our patterns. Yeah, and Tom, Tom's had red dot mayhem. Yeah, so I'm actually eyeing my iron sights today, so it's a challenge, because these are not great iron sights, but yeah. they're plenty good enough to get the job done. For sure. Well, let's see. We'll see what comes of this. I don't know. Let's do it. set up for this <laughs> very much you know your aim point oh yeah well if you don't this, know by now you never get <laughs> in this at this little range uh i mean aiming at the neck or the head's fine yeah. it's out 30 be at like 25 and beyond where i gotta make sure to aim a little high well to that top of the hill that's why i left the decoy out more so he would stay out there closer to 20. I assume when he comes up at all. Sounds like he's moving to the left. Yeah. Could be getting to the road.
Now we'll see what comes of it. Might just be the first setup. <laughs> hey, that's okay. I know. It's totally okay. He's got a lot of girls down there, so. He's playing the game. Might just blow him off, though. It's just path to the road is right to the decoy. <laughs> Not this crap. But we've seen that before. It's got a pretty decent voice actually now. <laughs> Spit drum.
Yeah. Oh man, what a morning Washington stretch show. <laughs> well done. Just had to wait for that needle to I was, right I wasn't sure you were going to get another turn on him. Well done, bro. Well done. Let's see it. Yeah. Ooh. There's a Washington bird. That's as fine a morning in turkey show as you can <laughs> hope for right there. Oh my gosh, that I was a bigger awesome. man. I was like, I'm just gonna hang tight. Like, yeah, you enjoyed the I show, man. It was a good show. Enjoy the show. I was even like, if he gets away or whatever. I didn't care either. I was like, yeah, if he walks back down the hill, who cares? Yeah, I wasn't worried about it, but then he finally gave me that chance, and those hands just parted enough. I didn't want to risk a flyer touching him, you know. Jake Brake. Hey, nice one. Jake Brake was good this morning. 28 gauge. 28 gauge. <laughs> Tom got it dialed in. Dropped him like a rock, bro. He rolled. <laughs> I had backed up just in time to have your shot go out. I think I'm going to untie him for a little while. It's kind of beautiful. No rush. No rush. No rush at all. <laughs> no rush with the shot. No rush getting up here, man. I'm just going to enjoy this uh, <sighs> opening morning moment here. Yeah. Perfect. Good work. Perfect shot. Good work. Yeah. I'm, I'm actually impressed that we got him on this hill. I thought, I sure thought they're he gonna... was going to come up behind us for a yep. second. I was like, man. Well, I'm looking at all this stuff and I'm like, well... There's no easy way in except right there, and I moved her down there for that reason. Because yeah. I looked around while you were doing your thing. You kind of have to have faith that that's how it's going to work out when you know what you know. Yeah. It's like, uh, this is just junk. Not that they won't come through it, but you can see right down there, there's a little opening where the and decoy is, and I'm like, well, I'm going to stick it down there. <laughs> when there's a little path of least resistance. Yeah. I thought we were all good until we saw the heads coming up the hill. I'm like, oh no. I know. And then I'm like, man. Because <laughs> he was right there for you. He's a first year Tom. I didn't see like wall hanger spurs, but. Nah, he's a fine bird though. He's beautiful. He's gorgeous. What a great strut show. We hey, take we him back to the truck. We still got tags in our pockets. Throw him in and go to the top of the hill. Chase another one for me. You can relax now. I like it. <laughs> yeah. You know what the best thing was, man, to be honest with you? I've been relaxed all morning. Yeah. It's too nice to. There's that hen poke. She's like, what's going on? He's like, what's going on, man? You gonna come or not? Jenny, why aren't you running? Yeah. Uh, savor the moment. So surprised that there wasn't more goblin over here. I'm so, glad the gun went off back there by the trucks. Yeah. I mean, he's that guy that was sleeping in when we came up here. He was definitely sleeping in that vehicle, I think. And uh, his gun went off back there. And I know there's birds back there, but... I figured we might as well walk, take a walk in the dark. That was a nice walk. It was great. I wouldn't have it. Wouldn't change a thing. Shh. It's good to have a walk in. You know, good to yeah. get a good setup. I'm glad we get more than one tag because I'd be super bummed if that was if it. that was it. Going home. <laughs> See ya. I what mean, time? not that I'm not happy and grateful, but. What time is it, Tom? Time of death. 6.05. 6.05. And look, folks, just proving it. It doesn't take much right. to be set up properly. Because I was behind Tom. And that was his view. But, you know, he's locked on to the decoy. Completely locked on. Good show with the feathers dragging, man. man and really, <laughs> really, you know, with me behind Tom, we really disappear. Because it just adds that much more. It's just a pile of junk over there. And there he is. He's a fine bird. Oh, bloodbath. Holy cow. You clobbered him. I'm gonna range him. That's a fine bird. Nothing wrong with him. Yep. 17? Yeah. 17 yards. 
17 yards to the shot for Tom. What a great opening morning bird. Awesome bird. Awesome Washington bird down. More to come. Praise the Lord, man. Amen. Looks like a good, solid first year Tom. He's a solid bird. He's got a big old chest on him. Nice brush, yeah. actually. Big chest, first year Tom. Fine brush. Nice Mary. Look at that head shot, man. He's a big, he's a big bird. He is I a big mean, bird. For being, I mean, these spurs aren't ginormous, but he's a, the rest of them sure feels big. Yeah. He's got a lot of, a lot of chest on him. 28 gauge, no problem. He ain't been fighting nobody. No, he was the king of the roost back here. He had these girls all to himself. Yeah. Good. Well, we can give some other boys a chance. That's right. Yeah, 28 <laughs> gauge, man. Laid them down hard. With, I, was, I knew anything in 40 yards was a done bird. Yeah. And uh, with that yardage, this gun, like I say, out here, yards. we're always shooting inside of 20. It's just, a, at 30 yards? This 28 gauge pattern better than my 12 gauge. Yeah, I saw that last night. You know, I mean, what this is this is great, and yeah. I'm glad. Super, super comfortable to sit on the tree with this gun all for that time. Yeah, so light. I will say, I'm glad I brought it. Yeah. All right, let's get some tags on this bloodbath. Oh my gosh, look at that head. I mean, he is just toast. That 28 gauge bro, hurting on him. That's a nice brush, too. That is, man. Like He's a fine brush. Typical three quarter spurs. All right. Oh, tag so cutting time. Tom's first Washington tag down. Yeah, baby. I'm pretty excited about that. Oh, no. Where did my old paper go? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there it is. And then uh, only my second time hunting out of the state of Idaho. All right. A little bit of America here going on. Tom's got his bird all tagged up. Yeah, baby. I'm going to have to work for the next one. I know. <laughs> Spoiled too two hunts in a row with early kills still like in the pack yeah yeah i am i'm wearing yeah. the same pack no, it's overall good i do wish that like blends you know, in nice with like the... this zipper would be great if they built it like this pack pouch sticking out you know because it was kind of like i went to get my saw this morning it's yep. kind of i mean just nitpicky but the next improvements yep i have a few it's good already, but it can be even better. Yeah. Overall, though, I do like it. It's nice to have that big cushy seat and not just my little half butt, yeah. you know, half stadium <laughs> seat flopping around that I would Definitely do. Definitely helps. All right, going in the pack. Got some good footage. Great photos. And then it's up, up, up to the top. Go find me a bird. Tom got the low bird. I'll go after the high bird. It might be in the middle of the morning lull though, but I'm pretty sure we'll strike something up somewhere. Hunt it pack is pulling its weight. Oh yeah. Oh. Something just break. <laughs> No, the clip came undone because it's pushing out against it, which is pretty normal. A lot too loose enough to strap. I'll help you hang in. All right, Tom's got his bird. But it's carrying nice. Man, it feels like I just lifted up a, like a trekking pole, not a shotgun. You're right. It's so light. <laughs> it's just not right, man. <laughs> Here we go. We know there's Jake's. There might be one Tom in there too. <laughs> I wonder if we just go up on top of this flat up here where it's been logged out, see if there's something to pull him into. Jake's 
texture is just fine. It's turkey season. <laughs> Let's go find something to set up and see if we can pull them over for a view. There we are. Well, we didn't find another bird here. Tom's getting ready to put his away. Get him ready for the ride. We're gonna go to a, try another spot real quick. I gotta go to work this afternoon, so I don't have a ton of time. But, you know, this is what it is. All right, we just got a gobble. It's uh, about 10 o'clock right now. And uh, he's way out there. There's a hilltop over there that connects with this old logging road. And he might be just be coming up and around the corner. So we're gonna wait on him, see what happens. Tom's got it set, it goes in place. I got an easy 30 yard shot to that corner if I need it. And this just goes to show persistence always pays. Persistence I mean, pays. Even if we don't kill this bird. Yeah. We got action. We got right action behind. on a windy yeah. change day. Being out he here could, persistent. He could be here real quick, so I want to sit down. Let's, uh, let's see what happens. He's quite a ways away, folks. I don't know what's going to come of this, but you know. Also, could be close because the wind covered. Yeah, yeah, the winds. He could come right out of that gully next to us, so we'll see what comes of it. Time to put on the ninja suit. Here we go. It's a perfect spot for killing a bird. It is.
Oh baby. <laughs> Sorry honey. You lose. Oh. A little louder than the uh, 28 gauge. You think? <laughs> Just a tad? You rocked it. That was beautiful. What a show. <laughs> I really didn't want to get much closer. <laughs> I mean... What a show. That neck is snapped right Oh away. yeah. Beautiful. God bless, man. What? God's so good. What an amazing day we've been so blessed to have. Code Black Attack. Yeah. Woo. Salt Creek number nine, baby. Putting down the... Oh, it smells so good. Yeah. It smells so good. Success. Yeah. Washington. Good day in Washington. <laughs> Welcome nice, to Washington, man. Tom. <laughs> Pulled the hen over, too, with the Jake break. It's been a Jake break morning, man. Yeah, how about that? That's awesome. Kind of Jeez. a newer call that we haven't used a ton of. I don't usually use it a lot. But it's got a nice sweet sound to it too. Whew. What a good morning. I gotta tell you, I was pretty juiced up. <laughs> I bet. I know I was this morning. I watched when... him shrub for so long. I know. I'm like, oh man, John, calm down, breathe. I mean, two amazing stretch shows this morning. I mean, just what a blessed day in the turkey. A blessed week. day. A very blessed day. It's amazing. Wow. I almost can't even believe it. I hope you did hit record, right? Oh yeah, we've been recording. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> Have we been recording? YouTube, let me know. It always we scares recording. me when I'm in charge of it, and I always say, did I record that? We'll verify here in a minute. Oh. Not that we could take it back if we didn't, but. What a great bird. Nice caramel tail. Yeah, he's gorgeous. I tried to move it just off to his head enough so I didn't blow his tail corner out. Oh, you did great. Well, that's a perfect yardage for this shell, that gun, this choke. I know the yardage at 30, I know the pattern, so I'm like, I just need to slip it a tiny bit to the left if it holds still for two seconds. <laughs> I almost shot him over there, I almost shot him over there. I'm like, oh, I was like, oh no, he's going to shoot him. Like, and right then the hen got cool. right behind him. Right. I'm like, I can't shoot now. I mean, but that's so amazing, man. I prefer a good long stretch show. Watch yeah. that bird, enjoy the moment. Over, shoot him as soon as you can see his head. There's too many birds out here. I, if we bust him, we bust him. Yeah. I'm not desperate. No. Nope. No. He's pretty. I what a great place to kill a bird, too. It's just gorgeous here. Yeah. It's absolutely gorgeous. All right. Opening well, day has been good. Opening day in Washington. Woo. Hopefully everybody's been, also out there, has been having some good success. 100% public so. land. Just putting down a public land run. Let's go take a look at this bird. Let's do it. All right, man. Woo. I was ready to load the next one, but no need. Saw that neck snap over and I was like, yep. All right, epic day, two birds down. The opener on public land. I mean, what more can you ask for? Heck yeah, man, I'm pretty That's dang so happy. Good. We're extremely blessed today, brother. Amen. Yeah. You see John over there messing around, all the things we do to try to get good photos and videos. All right, we're giving away our secrets. For the interwebs. But uh, working, on our, the old man gets it done. working on our perspective shot right now. And watch John run. Pretty quick for an old guy. Last one. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. Go check it and make sure it look good. The things we what? do to entertain you folks who have no idea. We could just come out here and go turkey hunting. That'd be fun. You, know, you can't even like the videos? I mean, come on, give us a like. Amen. Did you man. pay for a commercial? No. <laughs> Amen. <laughs>